Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 357. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 357. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to do two things. We want to see how to uh, take data that is not set up properly and set it up properly. And then we want to see how to take data from one sheet, given a certain criteria, and plop it onto another sheet. And there'll be a complicating factor with that. Now, the first thing is, if we have some team names, and then week and opponent, and then in a column over here, we repeat the same column header again and put twos for week two, and then the opponents for these uh, original teams over here, over here, it's hard to do formulas to extract data or data analysis like pivot tables, sorting, filtering. So the first thing is, we need to set up this data correctly. Now, week, week, that should really be one column. And a week one opponent, week two opponent, that should really be one column also. Once we set up the data in this kind of format, then again, everything is much easier in Excel. Now, uh, I'm just going to do this by hand here. I have other videos that shows you how to automate this. But if you had 16 weeks, for instance, this wouldn't be a lot of data to, data to copy. First thing is, we're going to copy this. And we're going to have to repeat this a number of times. So I'm going to Control V and then Control V here. Now, I've only, in this example, shown two weeks. But again, it could be a lot more. Now, for the first week, we want to take this week data and the opponents, copy, and then paste it right here. And then for the second week, we're going to copy that and then paste it right here. Oh, so I'm going to point to my smart tags. I had formulas there. I'm going to point to uh, values only. All right, so now we have our data set up efficiently. I'll zoom that in a little bit. Now, once we have this, what we want is we're going to come over here. And actually, I named this sheet week one. And we're going to build a little template over here. And when we copy this over, the fact that we have week and then the number one in parentheses, when we copy that sheet over, that number will increment automatically. That's a cool trick. Like if you have month one or day one or uh, or tournament one or whatever. Now, here's the situation. We want to be able to put the week number 1 through 16 here, or in our case, 1 through 2, and have the actual opponents from this other sheet. Now, one problem here is uh, we have some repeats. So these 1's here, 2's here. If we um, want to extract that data, we have to do something. Now, I have lots of lots of videos, including some complicated array formulas and filter and advanced filter for data extract that deal with this. But here, what I'm going to do is a nice, simple, straightforward, create my own primary key. Then if this is to the right, we'll use index. If it was to the left, you could just use VLOOKUP then. Now, the way we do this is we highlight this whole range here. And in the active cell, I say equals Washington ampersand, that is Shift 7. That's the join symbol. And this week. Notice this is going to create week 1. But when it gets down to, I'm sorry, Washington 1. When it gets down to here, it'll create Washington 2. So there will be no more repeats in this column here, which is really what we want to look up. So now, I'm, since I have all of the cells highlighted, I'm going to hold Control and tap Enter to populate all those cells with our formula. I come down to the end. I can double click, and I see it has it right. So there it is. There's our primary key. Now we want to come over here. And we're going to use um, index and match, because the lookup column is to the right of uh, the actual values we want to retrieve. If you put this over here in the first column, you could just use VLOOKUP. But we're going to leave it here. Come over here. Now I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to use the index. Um, equals index. Index, it needs an array. And actually, let me click Escape here. Index, all it needs is we say look up the opponents in this array right here. And the index needs to know which row number. So if I'm doing week two, I need to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for Washington, I need to say, give me row 5 for the index. And it will plop Nor Notre Dame right there. So we're going to use equals index. The array, I'm going to click on the sheet, highlight. Uh, these are the values we want to retrieve right here. F4 to lock it. Now, when you do sheet references, 
it, it's when we go back over to the sheet over here and click, which we want to do because we want to build the formula over there, it'll start putting sheet references in. So watch this. I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to put my cursor up there, hit a space, and then enter. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to hit backspace and come to the end. Those sheet references when, when I'm on the sheet, if I click right here, it would put week one explanation point when we don't need it. Now I'm going to type comma and the row number. This is where we're going to use match. And match, we need to look up. Uh, let me do this again right here. We need to look up this value right here. But we only have these here in our first column. So we're actually in the match going to have to join these and this right here. So I'm going to backspace out of here. Match the lookup value. We're going to click one cell to our left, relative cell reference, ampersand, the join symbol, and this weak number. Now I'm going to hit F4 to lock it. Now I'm going to type a comma. That's my lookup value. And my lookup array, where is it? It's over here. It's this column right here. Now the way index and match will work together is we have the same number of rows and cells in the index um, range and then the same number in the match. So this will work just fine. Now I'm going to type comma and 0 close parentheses. That's hard to see because we're on this other sheet. But for the end of the match, I had to type a ma the match type, which is exact, because we're looking up a word, so I type 0. And then I'm going to put two closed parentheses and then Control Enter. Now let me just um, put this into edit mode. You can see, sure enough, that match worked right there. We got that sheet reference. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, why didn't that work? Because we didn't uh, do something right. F, I'm going to click here, F2. Sure enough, look right here, we didn't lock it. So I'm going to hit in, click in that cell right there, hit F4. Click in this cell right here, hit F4. Now Control Enter and double click and send it down. Now the test will be if we put a 2 here, is it going to update? And sure enough, it does. Now I'm going to click over here and verify. Week 2, we have Washington, we have Notre Dame, Michigan, SSD, and Texas AM, NM. Sure enough, that's what we have. Now, 1, 2, that's all we have here. Obviously, if we had up to 16 weeks, that would be just fine. Now, here's the test. I don't want to have to recreate this template a lot of times. So I'm just going to copy this sheet over. Watch this. I'm going to point to this. And there's lots of ways to copy it, but holding the Control key before you click. Now, watch this. When I click, see that plus? Because I'm holding control, that plus means I'm copying the sheet. Now see that little drop down black arrow? That means when I let go of my cursor, my mouse, but not my control key, I let go of the, I'm still holding control, but I let go of the mouse, it drops it and copies it. Now I have week two right here. So now I can come back here, put a one here. I get my values there, um, and that's a 2. And you can then you can do that 16 times and just change each number, and boom, just like that. The result, which is what we wanted, from an original data set right here, we get each individual matchup on each individual sheet. All right, we'll see you next trick.